In 1997, an American high school student was shot and killed near his home in West Texas by a team of United States Marines. He, he was a, a, a perfect kid, you know, he would never answer back to me, you know, he was, he was a great kid, you know. More than 15 years later, and Ezekiel Hernandez's brother Margarito has only photos to remember. But he was barely fixing to get his driver's license. He was a good student going to school. You know, I think he was a perfect son because he was really, he was really great with my parents, you know. The 18-year-old Ezekiel Hernandez was on horseback with a 22 rifle taking care of his goats. A group of Marines deployed near the border mistook him for a drug runner. You know, he just ate supper, ate something, and had to go take care of his goats. I think it's, it's one of the hardest things that, that, that could happen to a family. But really, you know, you never think about law enforcement coming to your house, you know, coming to your backyard and taking your, your brother's life or your son's life. Hernandez was shot not far from the main road in Redford. News of more National Guard troops near the border was tough for family to hear. I don't, I don't see the, the, the reason or why they would bring military to the border. Uh, one of the things I would really hate, you know, is to see another family go to the, you know, have the same, go through the same situation of losing a loved one. With an eye on Presidio, Matt Rist, CBS 7 News.